Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. This is Manish and in this tutorial, we will learn about what is Scrum. So let's get started. So Scrum is the most popular framework to implement Agile. Many people get confused that Scrum and Agile are the same thing, but they are not. Scrum is a framework that is helpful to implement the Agile development methodology. And Scrum and Agile are not the same thing. So in Agile, there are many frameworks uh, that can be used to implement Agile, one of which is Scrum, another one is Kanban. So similarly, there are many other frameworks uh, which can be used to implement Agile uh, development methodology within your projects. Um, so with Scrum, product is built in time boxed iterations called sprints. So Scrum provides a whole structure how uh, the team needs to be built and what the time um, timelines are and how basically uh, the team need to, needs to be structured and what ceremonies they need to follow. Uh, so it gives, it gives a whole framework to follow uh, which has the core values uh, that are defined in the Agile manifesto uh, that can be utilized to deliver the Agile uh, development projects. So Scrum, uh, the key thing in uh, Scrum is to follow the sprints which is um, time box two to four week cycles to deliver something working or to deliver some working software to the stakeholder. So that is the key thing within the, uh, within the Scrum. Now Scrum has four ceremonies that bring structure to each sprint. So it's not just that uh, Scrum defines that you just need to follow two to four week sprint. So it, it gives a whole lot of other ceremonies, roles, and responsibilities within that framework that can be utilized um, by the project teams to enable the teams or to enable the agile framework uh, within within the team. So the four key ceremonies that bring structure to each sprint of this uh, each sprint are uh, sprint planning. So before a sprint starts there is a sprint, pla a sprint planning meeting that happens with the product uh, product manager uh, and other stakeholders and the development team to figure out what exactly or the, what what work is going to happen within that sprint what's the priority for the business stakeholders to uh, get things done within that sprint so from product backlog the user stories are being uh, pulled into the sprint backlog and the team actually starts to um, uh, so that the team can start to uh, create subtasks for those user stories and then start working on those subtasks and deliver something working by the end of the sprint. So that's the first ceremony of the um, sprint. The ne next thing is the daily stand-up. So Scrum Framework also um, defines that you need to have daily stand-up. So if you're following Scrum, you need to have sprints, which is two to four week cycle and the ceremonies within the sprint. So first one was sprint planning, which happens prior to starting the sprint. Second one is daily stand-up, which is daily 15 minutes quick meeting, uh, wherein all the team members along with product, um, product owner, um, Scrum master and development team member, uh, they all stand up and have a quick meeting uh, to understand what they did yesterday, what they are planning to do today, and if there are any impediments or blockers um, that, that any person is having so that other members can help out uh, to unblock that particular team member. So that sort of, um, that's another ceremony uh, that that's part of the uh, daily, uh, that's part of the sprint. Uh, the third ceremony is sprint demo or showcase. So at the end of each sprint, sprint demo needs to happen, which is to showcase or demo what has been built 
in that particular sprint so the team members um, whatever they have worked within that sprint to develop that is being showcased to the key stakeholders and the development team uh, at the end of each sprint that's the, uh, that's the third ceremony of sprint now the fourth ceremony is sprint retro retrospective and that's also at the end of the sprint uh, at the end of each sprint uh, which is basically to understand uh, all the team members uh, talk together and figure out what went well what didn't went well and what they need to do in order to improve um, in the next sprint so usually uh, everyone has sticky notes wherein they can write in their um, views or there is a person who can uh, write down the the things from each member that what exactly went well what didn't went well and what improvements need to make to be made and if there are any confusion or doubts that need to need to be cleared in the retrospective meetings uh, as well so these are the four key uh, ceremonies that um, a scrum has and which needs to be followed as part of each sprint so that's this is all about this is all about um, scrum and the key thing here to note is that scrum and agile are not same thing scrum is a framework to implement agile development methodology in any project so hope you like the video please do share and subscribe to get more informative videos like this thank you